Today we're going to use an OMG cable to deploy a Windows reconnaissance payload and exfiltrate the data to Dropbox on this episode of Hackbyte. Recon is a vital part of the attack chain and it is critical for hackers to understand the limitations and vulnerabilities that might be present on a system. That's why today we're going to use an OMG cable to deploy ADV Recon, a payload hosted on the Hack5 GitHub page. It's capable of enumerating a Windows system, including basic information such as the CPU, RAM, and OS revision, as well as a little juicier data such as the geolocation of where the script was run, as well as the previously connected Wi-Fi networks. It also gets into more nuanced data such as TCP connections, services running, and drivers installed. If this sounds useful to you, then all you'll need to get started is an OMG cable that's flashed and a free Dropbox account. So today we have the developer of Advanced Recon, Jacoby on. Welcome. Hey guys, so yeah, I appreciate you having me on. Do you wanna walk us through the code and kind of show us how this payload works? Yeah, absolutely. So the advanced recon payload is one that I've put together to completely enumerate through a target's PC and gather all the intel that you could need from personal information like your target's name, email address, even their geolocation, the SSIDs and passwords for all the Wi-Fi network profiles stored on their system. It will grab the specs for their PC's hardware and the processes, services, software running and drivers, ending with a list of every file on their system. All of this information can be used for future more focused data exfiltration or just to learn about who your target is to use in social engineering attacks. When this payload is used for the OMG devices or the rubber ducky, seeing as they don't have their own dedicated storage, I had to use specific methods to execute such a large payload in a reasonable amount of time and find a way to take this data we acquired and exfiltrate it somewhere. So I took advantage of PowerShell's ability to use invoke web requests and invoke expression to download and execute the script without ever saving it onto memory. And using the Dropbox API, we're able to exfil our loot to a cloud storage and make a clean escape. Now for the bash bunny, it will pull the script from and exfil to the device itself. It is worth noting that this payload has not been optimized for advanced users I do not use a lot of shorthand aliases or one-liners that would make it difficult for newer people to read and comprehend the code. I wanted them to be able to go in and look at what I've created and use portions of my code in their own payloads. This payload itself is a teaching tool more than anything. I even heard a story about a 12-year-old kid who goes by AXY that took what he learned from these and made his own Linux utility that will run anything put into a specific folder as root. So shout out to him. That right there is the end goal. I wanna help as many people as possible write their own payloads. Thanks Jacoby. Now the first thing we wanna to do to get started is go to the GitHub page and download the PowerShell script. We can do this by clicking on the .ps1 file, then click raw and save page as, save and we've got the file downloaded. Now on a Windows system, it's pretty easy to right click this file and edit it. Since I'm running this payload from a Mac, I'm gonna rename the document to txt real quick. So that way I will be able to edit it. And then we'll see a file like this, exactly like from GitHub. Now we need the access token, which we're gonna be able to paste in here. To get that, you're going to go to the app console in Dropbox. You don't need a paid account, you can create a free account, then go to dropbox.com slash developer slash apps. In the top right corner, create app. Then you're gonna select scoped access. And then I like using the app folder, just use the least privilege model so that if something does happen to this, it's only affecting the app folder. And then we're gonna name it something like Hack Byte Loot and create app. From there, we're going to need to click on the permissions tab and give it metadata write, content write and read, as well as request write, and then submit. 
it's important you do this first before you create the access token. From there, you can go back to your settings, scroll down, and you should see generated access token, generate. Now, it's important to keep in mind that this access token will only be valid for four hours. Um, unfortunately, that's a limitation of Dropbox. So before you deploy this payload, you'll need to regenerate an access token. I'm gonna copy that, and then we're gonna go back to our PowerShell script file and paste that in. From there, we can close the file and save it. And then we can go to our Dropbox. There should be an app folder, and then you'll see the name of the app you just created, so Hackbyte Loot. Should be an empty folder. We're going to drag in that file we just created. So I'm gonna rename it PS1 so that it's recognized as a PowerShell script. Copy this PowerShell script file over to your Dropbox, and we can drop that in. From there, we can open the file, make sure everything uploaded good. We still have our key here. Then we're going to share and create a link. Cool. Now that we got that, we're also gonna go over to the GitHub page, go back, and we will find the executable for Advanced Recon. Now that we have that all open, I can connect to the OMG cable. And now that I'm connected, I'll go to page 192.168.4.1. And then I'm gonna paste in that link real quick just to save that as a notepad. And I'm gonna copy, you can copy the remarks if you want, but you don't really need any of that. You just need this part. Go back over here, paste that in. And we want to edit this end part, the question mark DL equal zero. That needs to be TL equal one. And that should be everything. Now we can save this payload. I'm going to save it in slot one. And then I'm going to save it to boot and enable that. So that way when the OMG cable is plugged in, it'll immediately perform reconnaissance on any Windows machine that's plugged into. Again, one limitation there is the access token's only gonna be valid for four hours. Um, I really wish it lasted longer, but that's the limitation we're working with. From there, we can run the payload. Okay, running the script. There's a confirmation dialog and ta-da, that's it. Now that I've run the payload and I've seen it execute on the Windows machine, I'm gonna reconnect to the internet and go back over to our Dropbox folder, which has loot. And here we are. As you can see, I ran it twice, so I have two text files here, but you can click on that and you'll have all your loot, including the location, name of the user, and so much more. Obviously, a lot of this is gonna be redacted, but trust me, there's a lot of useful information here. While all of that data can be incredibly powerful in the hands of a hacker, it's an important reminder to update your Windows system and frequently change your password. It's also a good reminder of basic security hygiene, such as not plugging in random cables and always locking your system when you walk away so you're not vulnerable to drive-by attacks. If you found today's video helpful, then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next episode of Hackbyte. Thanks for supporting Hack5. Find all our shows, community, and Pentest products at hack5.org.